Okay. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here tonight. I'm Megan from the library. Tonight we have with us Dr. Joseph Thomas talking about um, the vascular troop. So turn over to him. Good evening, everybody. I really appreciate you, you guys coming out. This is to me like having a baby. <laughs> because I former OB Guiding Doctor, when you have a baby, you're so proud. I want to tell everybody. So I'm a researcher, OB Guiding Doctor. I stopped doing deliveries in 2021, but because I've done so much reading of research, I ran across this information. And this is so important because although I'm a former OB Guiding Doctor, I think that perfectly prepared me to continue research because here's what you have to know. Your future health depends on your stem cells that's in your body. Your future health depends on three main factors. And I'm gonna do a little quiz, audience participation. So what's the single most important factor when it comes to your body healing yourself? Blurt out some answers. So I'm looking for level one. There's a whole lot of level two. Heart. Your heart, absolutely. Circulation, heart. Somebody over here was thinking nutrition. Yes. Somebody's thinking, you know, mental state, positive mind. What? Blood, absolutely. Exercise. Exercise, definitely. So all those are level two answers. The level one answer, we totally take for granted. What's the level one answer? Let me introduce it like this. Everybody here has probably scratched their hand, cut their hand in the kitchen or something like that. Did you consciously have to tell those cells how to heal themselves? Oh, you mean it's self-healing? Mm -hmm. You mean it's automatic? Mm -hmm. There's an infinite intelligence that's in every one of your cells. Because your conscious mind does not have to tell your body how to heal itself. In fact, if it did, we'd be in trouble. Because <laughs> you don't know the steps. You know, wound healing has three steps. You got to have inflammation, you got to have proliferation, then you have remodeling the wound. Each one of those has 10 or 12 steps. We don't know that. The infinite intelligence of yourselves knows that. So the breakthrough is, in my opinion, you now know you can influence that intelligence that's in yourselves. Now, let's back up. How can you influence it? Everybody's heard of lifestyle. Somebody mentioned exercise. All the things that can improve the genes that help your body heal itself is something you can actually do to make yourself better. Maybe that's not the most important thing. Maybe the most important thing is to stop doing the things that's messing up how your body heals itself. And if I go through the things that they will say, here's lifestyle changes that will help you, you've all heard it. But you didn't know it was affecting your genes. You didn't know it was affecting your stem cells. So whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're young or old, this is the most important breakthrough in your lifetime. There's nothing more important than this. Because they have cracked the code as to how your body heals itself. So I use it because I do dining surgery still, and I want my patients to be in shape to heal from surgery. So I want to transition them from whatever state that they were in to a higher state so they could heal better because they don't know. And here we go, casking dispersions, because I'm going to say, your doctor doesn't know. I talked to 100 doctors. I asked them, did you have a class in nutritional science? No. no. The nurses, did you have nutritional science? No. So what they were told is, oh, you get everything you need from the four food groups. True. Uh, it's way more important than that. Because your stem cells can be turned off, and that means the cells you need to have your liver functioning in the future, they're not going to be there. It's like having a house that's, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years old, and you never fixed it. You haven't fixed anything in 40 years, that house is falling apart. But your body has workmen that try to fix it. But then here, here, here are some of us 
I'm going to pick on me. It was my job to stay up at night and do deliveries. So I miss sleep. Oops. And on the weekend I wasn't on call, man, I got some kung fu movies I want to watch. So I stay up to 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Then when I found out, you turned off your stem cells, brother. Your future healing is down 10, 20%. So everything that you ever thought of as aging, you now know you can do something about it. And for those who like to do research, look up David Sinclair at Harvard. His research team and his buddies say the person who's going to live to be 200 is already working on the planet because we have the genetic code. We have the improvements you need. So that's genetics. I'm not going to spend much time on that. I want to talk about the bachelor truth. So I started out with number one, single most important thing, the intelligence in your cells. And that you can turn off your stem cells or you can turn them on. Epigenetics is turning on good cells. And I've been talking about vitamin D for 20 years. I have to put a plug in. Everybody I've ever tested is vitamin D deficient. And I would take, I don't have that much cash, but whatever I had, I put it on the table and say, there's no one in here who has a normal vitamin D level if you're not taking at least 5,000 units of vitamin D. Not the 600 that they feel afraid with. Not the 1,000 that your doctor told you. But you live above the 33rd parallel, which means six months of the year, no vitamin D from your son. So you're all deficient. And that means your immune system can't work properly, oh. period. That's a whole nother lecture. I'm not going to get distracted into that. I wanted to mention that because the vitamin D turns on 83 genes that helps your body heal itself. It turns off 81 that create problems. So how are you going to heal better? You got genes creating problems. And none of the ones that help you. So that's an issue. Level one. Intelligent in yourselves. Level two, and you know, you guys, anybody here read that book that people read on Sunday? Bible. Oh, the Bible. I get, I get people every time. The Bible. What are you talking about? The reason I say that is somewhere in there it says the victim. The life of the flesh is in the book. So if someone says blood, absolutely. If you don't have the right nutrients in the blood, why do you think your body's going to heal itself right? Everybody should know that. You can't eat junk food and think you're going to heal as well as if you get, you know, good fruit and vegetables and so forth. So what's in your blood is important, but here's the kicker. This is what this is about. You can eat all the right food, but everybody here is old enough to know there's somebody who's been a diabetic, has a blood flow problem, they had to cut off their toe or their foot. Blood flow problem. They're eating the right thing. The body's trying to heal itself. They had to cut off a toe or foot because there's not enough nutrients getting to the toe or the foot. Newsflash. <clears throat> there's not enough nutrients getting to all of your organs. That's what aging is. And when I get done, if we, everybody get a handout, you can look it up because I'm going to go through it like that. It took years of research. I flew to Atlanta. I met with Dr. Vink, who did this, uh, who did the innovation. <clears throat> His partner, Dr. Long, or Mr. Long, made the supplement that fixes your blood flow problem. And I'm just going to tell you from my point of view, I'm a little bit smart. I ain't really the genius that thought it is, but I like to read. And I knew. If I come to the room two hours early, they said, oh, you can't go in, you gotta wait. I said, oh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put my stuff down on the desk. <laughs> so I put my material down on the front desk next to where the two presenters are, the guys that invented it. So when they open the doors, I'm sitting next to them. Three days, I hear everything they say, and I'm sitting right here and they're right here. Every single other doctor had to come up to the front stand next to me to ask some questions. I heard every question. And at the end of the presentation on Sunday, they said, Doc, Doc, come here. Because they knew me by then. They said, you're not putting this 
in publications, but we found that Black Americans have the worst blood flow of any group in the entire world. So that's it. That's it. This is why African Americans have Black women the most deaths from breast cancer, the most high blood pressure, the most heart disease, the most cold. Remember uh, Chadwick Boseman, for those who watch Black yeah. Panther? Yeah. What's he doing down in colon cancer at 43? Yeah. That man was buff. Yeah. The people who work out, you know they're eating all the right food. What happened? Immune system didn't check it. So here we go. Intelligence in your body. Your body is getting rid of 10,000 mutations every single day. That's what your immune system is doing. Everybody in here has had some abnormal cells. And if your immune system didn't get rid of it, you would have cancer. You could ask your doctor, he would say, yeah, your body gets rid of uh, you know, abnormal cells. That's part of the immune system function. What happens when that function decreases? How many of you heard of uh, chicken pox? Yeah. So let's say you had chicken pox at six years old. Yeah. What do you call it when it comes back at 56? Shingles. Shingles. Well, hold it. Where was that virus all that time? <laughs> Your immune system had put it in a holding cell. Why did it come out at 56? Immune system starts failing. Why is it failing? So this is the part I figured out. It's not on here. All of your problems have their origin if it's preventable. Stress, toxins, and deficiencies. So in the future, and you guys are getting a hint from the future, the future doctor will be mainly concerned with, let's talk about the stress you're under. Oxidative stress, physical stress, psychological stress. Let's talk about toxins. And everybody here, to the your budget, it's time to eat organic food. Because the toxin that's in the food is decreasing your immune system ability to function. Number two, and it's the hard part to accept, any amount of mercury, aluminum, or paraquat, or herbicide, pesticide, turns off your stem cells. So the guy out of Rochester, his research team, when they found that, there's a switch that turns off. If your stem cells aren't working, folks, your future is not going to be as healthy as it could be. So in case you don't know, <clears throat> somebody volunteered, just throw out a number, it doesn't have to be true. How old do you think you are? Somebody. 100. <laughs> okay, 100. Show me something that's 100 years old. Your hair? No. Skin? No. Everything changes seven is between 7 and 17 years. The stomach acid that's made by the parietal cells, they knew every week. You ever heard of somebody? So if you have a liver problem, you know, accident, tumor, they cut it out, your whole liver can regrow in 30 days. No other part of your body can grow like that. But your liver can. You know why they call it the liver? Because if you don't have it, you're not living. <laughs> <laughs> the liver is the main thing to detox everything. They can go into the lab over here. We're going to make a new chemical that's never been on the earth. Expose it to a person. How does liver know how to get rid of that toxin? You don't understand. When that book says you're fearfully and wonderfully made, you have to leave it. So your body can heal things. We have to get out of the way. We got to stop doing the things that's messing it up. I had to stop coming home on the way home. Uh, this is a joke. Don't be mad at me. That's my wife, Eric. I'm a beautiful wife. Great, 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 great. So this is, I'm, I'm, I'm making this up. Maybe. I called home 10 o'clock. I had a delivery. I said, hey, baby, delivery's over. On the way home. He said, we sleep. You know what we sleep means? It means ain't no food ready, and I'm not getting up to fix my food. So I stopped at Popeye's, pair of fried chicken. 10, 20 years of doing that. Then when I found out the oil that's in there that's been cooking for 18 hours a that's day, right. it's right. messing my immune system up. I had to stop. Oh. My car still tries to pull over there. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> so 
intelligence in the cells, what you put in the blood, and blood flow. Stress, toxins, and deficiencies. That's the future of medicine. Somebody goes to the hospital, stress, toxin, and deficiency. Let's check and see what you've been putting in your blood. Let's see what's in your land. Let's figure out what we got to do to change things. And this is not on the side. All your cells go through a seven-step process, cell cycle. They're checkpoints. So G1, growth phase. Mitosis, making the new components of the cell. G2, second growth phase. Synthesis, then it goes to uh, uh, mitosis. There's seven steps in mitosis. Then it goes to cytokinesis. That means the cells, boom, split into two. Then if the cell isn't really functioning, it can go into G0. That's the holding tank. Or it goes back to G1 and starts a cycle. All your cells go through that cycle. And there are points where nutrition can help those cells get revived. Main thing, you got damaged cells. What do you think is going to happen when they split into two? Two damaged cells. So sometimes we should fix it with nutrients. Sometimes we got to say, I need some stem cells. I need some stem cells. The body says, we know that. And we're sending it. So it's just like you ever see those uh, relay races. So the stem cells comes out the bone marrow, hands the baton, to the kidney cell. So the stem cells from the bone marrow don't really jump in the kidney and fix it. It just hands a baton and say, hey, stem cell, it's okay to fix it. It's a message. Those messages can be messed up. How you gonna get the message? It has to go through the vascular system. So that's, uh, yeah, that's my two minute introduction. So vascular truth, Seventy uh, percent of the first sign of heart attack, sudden death, sudden death. So if you wait, and I hear this all the time, I still do, I see men and women, metabolic medicine, nutritional science. Patient comes and says, "Oh, I'm fine." My doctor, primary doctor, says, "I'm fine." Because see, I'm a consultant. I can be your primary. I said, "Hold it, hold it, hold it." Did you say you just had that EKG because you was having palpitations? I said, "Yeah," but every test came out. How many people died? They were okay this week, this month, and then they did next week, next month. They don't understand. They got a bachelor problem that they can't measure because angiograms measure 100 uh, micrometers. This new equipment that they came up with measures down to five. And so there's something new, but I'm going to go through that. <clears throat> Get the test and know your risk factor. So I got uh, individuals had the test done, their level was like 1.752. Two. <clears throat> In Europe, they're 10 to 15. In this country, it's one to 10, because we are horrible. We got fluoride in the water. We got toxins in the food. And when I grew up, <clears throat> we didn't know no better. I go up to Michigan, my cousin's farm, the airplane would come and spray the blueberry patch. We playing in the mist. Nobody told us to come in. In Chicago, for those old enough, they used to come down the streets and spray for the mosquitoes. Yeah. We playing in the mist. We want them to hurt. We playing football. Hurry up and go down the street. So everybody in here has been for the toxins. I just know, hey, we need to help you detox. We need to help you put the right nutrients in. Them. And <laughs> that's why I want to talk about the glyco check because. All the doctors can get it out of this month. They can get that equipment. <clears throat> it's going to be slow because uh, it's not a drug, so they're not going to have the little drug rep uh, uh, woman come to the office buying them lunch or dinner. So it's going to be slow. <laughs> you may not know this. Your microvascular system, 99% of it is a small blood vessel that don't have a name. So if you can name a blood vessel, aorta, subclavian, you know, all the name vessels, 1%. Your blood vessels, if everybody in here is a cell, right, mm -hmm. you cannot have the artery by the window and then the other artery by that window. 
If it's not within two or three uh, cell lengths away, then the nutrients can't get to it. So count off three, the ones in the middle, those cells are going to die off. What do you call that? Aging. Where your kidneys slowly stop working, your liver stops working. You go to Walmart or somewhere, where have you parked? Uh, you don't remember because that part of your brain ain't working. Mm -hmm. And it's slow. You're like, dang, I remember, I remember, I remember. Then you hit the button on your key. This is me. Yeah, right. And then you're like, I wish some other people would quit hitting the damn button. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hear my button. But with the supplement, it improves the blood flow to that part of the brain. Remember, it comes back because your brain needs blood flow. Here's the blood, 100%. Average blood cell lives 90 to 120 days. <clears throat> it takes so many trips you know, around during that 90 day period. Here's the capillaries. Now, here's the part, it may show it, it may not. Blood cell, eight microns. Smallest blood vessel, five. That means the red blood cell has to fold on itself to get through the tiniest blood vessel. That's when it releases the oxygen and nutrients and picks up the carbon dioxide and everything else. That's right in this area. Let's see if they show it. Life is on the blood. So this is what the machine shows. You can see it. You can see it. Now, this is not bad. I have patients where my description is it looks like there's people walking down the bike path, but it's supposed to be like a racing car going down the bike path. Mm -hmm. right. And then some of them look like you know, it's a bicycle down the path. Maybe it looks like somebody is running. But when I say it looks like somebody is walking, ooh, they in trouble. So this is showing you, you know, average and the tiniest vessels. This machine takes 100,000 video clips and then analyzes it up to a million times. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this is a blood vessel. These are red blood cells. Oh, it. So it's kind of going fast, mm -hmm. right? There's the exclusion zone. Oh. This is the glycocalyx. This is the Teflon. So this makes the blood vessel smoothly go through that capillary. If that's not there, it's bumping up against the walls, causing damage. What happens after it bumps up? Start getting atherosclerosis. You're going to have plaque. Mm. It builds up. <clears throat> so I already said that. The endothelium, is, the vessel wall is one cell layer thick. So if you damage it, you don't have backup. So this is the endothelial cell. This is the glycocalyx. They couldn't discover this because when you do autopsy, this stuff is it's faded away, it's gone. So it took years. They first started doing the research like 20, 30 years ago. <clears throat> They're like, we think we see something. They'll use a special dye and they see it. And then a little bit later, it's gone. So it took time for them to discover that. So white blood cells bump up against this. That's when nitric oxide is released. Anybody here? Uh, taking beets or some kind of supplement with beets in it. I actually take the um, actual vegetables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It don't work unless you have black okay. Mm -hmm. Because the nitric oxide is produced here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Let me just, this isn't part of the presentation. I got to say this. <clears throat> Fluoride messes up the bacteria in your mouth that block the nitric acid, nitric oxide from being formed. Anybody here have high blood pressure? Mm -hmm. Two weeks, no fluoride, mm. and your pressure will start coming back. So you could do a home test. Get some other toothpaste that don't have fluoride. Make sure the mouthwash doesn't have fluoride because it's killing the micro, uh, the, the bacteria cells that's in the crypts of your tongue that start processing nitrite and the nitrate to make nitric acid. So I want to mention that because. You're not going to hear this stuff, you're not going to hear for 10 or 20 years. Oh. And see, my problem is if I wasn't doing the research, by the time I heard about it, where it trickled through the medical literature in 20, uh, 20 years, that's going to be too late for me. I can't wait 
until they happen to accidentally make it public. Because I had eight patients in the last six months get off of their high blood pressure medicine. They were going to have surgery. I put them on endocalic. The blood pressure came so low, the doctor took it off. Every other time they say, high blood pressure? Oh, well, we don't know the cause, but you're going to be on this medicine the rest of your life. Isn't that what they say? Yeah. What's the root cause? We don't know. Uh, we now know. But it's going to take time. It's going to take time. They knew about, what do you want to talk about? Uh, <clears throat> what new invention they have on the car? Let's say the key to this entry? Yeah. Man, they knew about that 10 years ago. <clears throat> but I might not have got one until two years ago. So the invention happens here, and then it takes a long time before they put it in production. That's the problem. So I'm going to speed through. <clears throat> So what is that about that? You say, <clears throat> if you give that to a patient, <clears throat> the blood pressure changes the, <clears throat> in, in two to three months? I had blood pressure drop stop. It, it starts to drop down. What is that? What is it? It's called endocalyx, and it has all the stuff that this is made of. Is that a medicine? or everything? It's all natural. Six natural things. Anybody here heard of the blue zones? That's mm -hmm. the place where the people yeah. live the most, yes. the longest? Yes. Right. It's a, it comes from the kind of food that they eat there. Right. One thing is a brown seaweed yeah. called fucadan. Yeah. Fucadan is a glycoamine. This stuff is made of the glyco sugars attached to a protein. So the science is already done. Is there a pill you can take? It's a pill. It's, it's a pill you take. Okay, what is it? Endocalyx. Endocalyx. And it's on the handout if you got one. So uh, oh, I see. it lets nutrients in and the toxins out. It releases nitric oxide. Okay, stop hitting buttons after time. <laughs> yep, make sure you have it. Go to the website. You can take the time and look at videos. If you're scientifically minded, they got 200 research papers that prove everything that they're saying so that you can see uh, the science behind it. It's not just, you know, it's not new peanut butter. It's something different. <laughs> So this is showing them going through the cells. I mean, the cells going through the blood vessels. This is showing nitric oxide. The vessel expands. When it expands like it's supposed to, blood pressure goes. It's lower because you have nitric oxide. It's lower because you have a glycocalyx. So this is proven science that you'll be able to look. Here's, you know, they call it the foundation of health. This is the glycocalyx. This is a red blood cell. I point this over there. You're, you're good. Yeah. Healthy capillary, unhealthy one. Yeah. Moving fast, barely making it. Mm -hmm. Got the exclusion zone, just bump right against the cells. It injures the cells, you end up with plaque. Yes. Question. Could you just leave the blood clots through? Well, so you want the high science? No problem. <laughs> The glycocalyx is what prevents blood clots when you don't want it. That has uh, hyaluronidase. All the things that prevent blood clots are in this. So when this is gone, you get blood clots. Anybody here heard, heard of the COVID-19 patients getting a lot of blood clots? Yeah. yeah. The spike protein damages this. Hundreds of papers already done. And I'm going to put on my other half. I'm going to step on the bottom of the side. The study showed if your vitamin D level was over 15, all the people in the ICU, none of them died. All the people who had low vitamin D, the immune system wasn't working. I just had a vitamin D question coming from online. Yes. Um, the person says, I love Dr. Thomas. He delivered all three of my children. Very knowledgeable doctor. <laughs> uh, appreciate his medical service he provides. And then the question is, does age impact vitamin D deficiency? Absolutely. The older you get, the less you can absorb. The more you overweight, the less you can absorb. If you get the prescription kind, that's B2, only 15% is absorbed. Never get prescription vitamin D, gets over the counter. So I tell my patients for 10 years, I said, you need 5,000 a day. Then I test them, I tested them, I tested them. The highest level didn't even get up past 50. So I changed it 50 nanograms per milliliter. So your doctor would say, well, the normal range is 30 to 100. 
But these are my buddies I play golf with, so I use colorful language, which I won't use today. But I explained to them, if their kid came home saying that crap, that the teacher said 30 to 100 is okay, and they got a 40, so you should be proud of me. Man, when I was a kid, I would have caught it. A 40 on a spelling test? <laughs> so when these doctors are saying, oh, 40 is okay, you don't have to take any more vitamin B. Oh, my God, you don't stop preventing cancer until your level is at least 65. Wait, wait. Your vitamin D level 65? Vitamin D65. So now how to tie it into this? I think from research that this layer is messed up when you have low vitamin D because you got plaque and officially you call bone cells or macrophages that eat up the cholesterol. It's not regular cholesterol, it's damaged cholesterol that causes the problem. Why is it damaged? Eskimos who ate blubber have vitamin D levels of 300. They don't have no heart disease. What's the problem? When you cook that oil, omega-6, vegetable oil, canola oil, over 109 degrees, it damages the oil. That oil becomes part of every single one of your cells. That's what causes the problem. Damaged cholesterol, not regular cholesterol. So don't eat places where they fry food. One of my parents said, well, Granny did it. <laughs> Granny cooked fried food for 15 minutes, put the oil away, used it eight times. That's right. two hours. <laughs> you go to any of your places, the cooker's on 18 hours a day. That's 500 hours in a month. Yes. So what about standing in the sun to get your vitamin D for 20 minutes? Okay. Now you, we're going to have vitamin D discussion, and I don't mind at all. Uh, well. Here we go. Here we go. And I pick on people in art. Pick on me. Get your feelings hurt or nothing. I'm gonna pick on you. You're a nice guy. <laughs> this guy, if he sits in the sun for 10 minutes, April through September, he's gonna make 10,000 units of vitamin D. Wow. It's gonna take you two weeks, sugar. Your skin blocks the sun. Oh. That's why African-Americans have the worst vitamin D level of anyone in the world and the worst vascular problem than anyone in the world. The most certain cancers, 17 different cancers, is metabolic. So, yes, you can sit in the sun in the summer. But I'm going to tell you, my cousins, when they send me the pictures, or I've been on vacation with them, they take a picture in the sun, they immediately run back and get in the shade. Those sisters ain't sitting out there in Jamaica like that. And I'm just going to share with you. So I taught international doctors. I had doctors from India, Pakistan, different places. I won't go through the details. But they told me, the young ladies, their parents didn't want the girls getting doctors in Pakistan. Yeah. I didn't know the whole world was crazy. My research director, he said, you're right, Dr. Thomas. I said, what do you know about that? He's from India. He said, two months before his marriage, his parents told him, don't go in the sun anymore. We don't want you to die. Wow. I thought that was just here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, vitamin D is good, but we got a stigma attached to getting dark. So that's a whole nother discussion. I thought we were limited to this country. No, it's worldwide. So vitamin D is important for the immune system. We avoid the sun. They lie to you. You guys believe the sun will cause cancer. They forgot to tell you it was the parabens and other stuff in the sun block that caused cancer. If you look at sunscreen and stuff, and it says parabens free, mm -hmm. uh, that means it used to be in there. And the only reason they're saying they're bragging it's not in there, that means it did something horrible, and now they're bragging it's not in there. And I usually say this joke, I'm gonna learn how to not to say certain things, but today I'm gonna mess up. Yeah, I'm gonna pick on you again. <laughs> he whispered in my ear. <laughs> I don't beat my wife no more. Doesn't that mean he used to beat his wife? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it means when it says parabens free. Um, it was causing damage. Mm -hmm. But they took it out and they're like, Some of y'all moms, when you were a kid, your mom would lather you with all their stuff before you go out in the sun. So long story short, there's a lot of truth that has to be suppressed. 
they're suppressing. They're not going to tell you, your doctor not going to tell you he never had one single nutritional science course. He's not going to understand that what he was trained to do was figure out what drug to use instead of telling you, hey, you got to change your exercise level. You got to eat more organic fruit and vegetables. Here are some nutrients that you need to take, the vitamin D, vitamin E, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a way to do things naturally, but if you weren't taught that, what are you left with? Prescription for a drug. So here's something that totally is going to obliterate because heart disease, kidney failure, aging, everything is related to blood flow. So I'm going to just go back. This was showing you where here's the side of injury. You don't have the glycocalyx, that is going to end up with plaque and be injured. It's going to grow. Now you're going to have, you know, uh, a plaque that breaks off, or or a stroke if that's in the brain, or a heart attack. Which, uh, yeah. So they were able to look at the uh, sinus <clears throat> and diet, so endothelium, subendothelial space, and see that oh, there's a difference if you don't have a glycocalyx, and it leads to the leakage of fluids and molecules, and that. Uh, Gets to the calcification. Anybody here have a study where they check the calcification in your chronic? You heard of that study? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it happens. So you can have partially blocked, take the endocalyx and unblock it. So I go to seminars and I'm very, uh, you know, professional and polite. I wait till the end. I said, Can I ask questions? They say, Sure. I said, <clears throat> Can you reverse heart disease? I said, Oh, no, 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 you can't reverse it. But you can like stop it from getting worse. I said, what about Dr. Dean Warners, who's been reversing it since 1984? He's at Harvard. What about Dr. Esatel, the chief cardiovascular surgeon at Cleveland Clinic? That's not a too shabby place. He stopped doing surgery because he figured out how he could reverse it. But we haven't heard of those doctors. I'm just telling you, the person who has to be in charge of your health is who? You. Once you take charge, it's your responsibility to do research. So research. Uh, these are hospitals and universities all over the world where they did the research. It was not like one place where they, they paid them to do it. These folks had to buy that equipment, 25 grand, buy the uh, endocalyx supplement, and do their research studies. That's the uh, device hooks up to the computer. And for some reason, it won't come on. But this is what the research tool looks like. It goes under your tongue and it gives you those pictures of where you actually see the blood vessels. They totally verified it because in an open surgery, <clears throat> it would take that device, you know, sterilize it, put it in the liver, see the blood on the liver, put it in the mouth, see the blood on the mouth, mouth. It always matches unless you got bad doing it. So it's already been verified. Uh, the patent was issued in 2009 back in Heinz Vink. That's where I went from the Netherlands. That's where I went to meet in Atlanta. <clears throat> if you have bad glycocalyx, these are the conditions. <clears throat> Type 2 diabetes, heart failure, kidney failure, preeclampsia, sepsis, atherosclerosis, that's what we we're talking about, early cognitive repair, uh, where did I park my car? Yeah. Inflammation, all of that is due to lack of blood flow to a certain part of your organs or body. This is showing <clears throat> the same thing, blood flow. This is like a score where <clears throat> the person initially was 6.3 and then uh, it later was 9.74, so it improved. These are four, five, six uh, micron capillaries. And so it actually measures how the blood flow in the four, five, and six micron. 90% of the people I have is under one or two for each of those. They take the endocalyx, all their scores go up. So <clears throat> this issued a patent in 2018. This is patented by both of the inventors. 
to fix the bag of pills. It's not patented like, oh, we say something's in it and it's in it. No, this is patented to actually fix your body. That's why this is such a breakthrough. Those are two guys. The blue zones, you can do your own research. Places where people more likely than not will live to 100. So they looked at their diet and activity and some of the stuff they got from there. It uh, restores the polysaccharides that repairs the glycocalyx matrix. It rejuvenates the amino sugars. That's a precursor to uh, polysaccharide. And then it has to protect it. So there are antioxidants in it that protect it from breaking down. How do you break down this layer? Smoking, drinking, lack of sleep, high blood sugar, high blood pressure. So if you have any of those, stop doing that and your body will try to repair it, but you need the ingredients to repair it. I have a guy who uh, is a barber. He took it. He doesn't need his readers to cut hair. So I ran to the guy with the message. With I, I said, man, you got to tell me. It's not in the textbooks yet. He said, man, that, you, you told me the guy's diabetic? Yeah, he's been diabetic 20 years. He said, diabetes causes blood vessel damage. Mm -hmm. So if this repairs it, he has better written a blood flow. That's going to repair his eyesight. It's not going to be perfect, but it's better than it was. And I love this guy. This is my buddy, right? He ain't following instructions. <laughs> I told him, order it. Oh, doc, I'll come back and get something. I was out. Three weeks later, he needed his glasses again. Another three weeks of taking it, once I got some, he don't need his glasses. Like I said, you're the perfect study. I probably couldn't have paid you <laughs> to be so delinquent. But I'm so happy that they happened because, you know, I didn't know. Uh, so it restores it. It rejuvenates it. It protects it. That's an antioxidant. It breaks the wall from damage. lets the nutrients in. releases nitric oxide to create motion. Here's an example of somebody from August. October and December, I just score one up, you know, taking a supplement. I highly advise, although I'm probably as hard headed or more than anybody else, because I think since I'm taking this supplement when I go play golf, shouldn't it be okay if I smoke a cigar now and then? No. <laughs> Who said no? I said. Y'all are mean. <laughs> <laughs> but you're accurate. <laughs> but I'm just saying. That's the way uh, a person's going to think. So I'm just going to tell the truth. My score was 8.6. Wow. But I took it for a year first, but I couldn't get the equipment. Then last year, here come my birthday. I shouldn't even admit this, but I already did. I figured I should be able to do what I want for my birthday. Wait a minute. I'm going to do what I want for my birthday weekend. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do what I want for the rest of my birthday month. It got good to me. I'm a the whole summer. I'm just man. I'm doing all that stuff. My score went down from eight to four. Still higher than most of the people who never took it. I'm so happy I did that because I was in La La Land. And <coughs> man, I took this stuff. I'm at eight. I'm good. I can miss here or there. Yeah, that's probably true. <coughs> but I started doing all the bad stuff. So I know this more personally, and uh, I'll just give you one more glimpse. <clears throat> I went to med school. You got to get a physical. They said, oh, you got a large heart. I said, well, I never had any problem. I'm running and doing stuff with the best of them. I had a whole workup and stuff. Well, we don't know why you have a large heart. You're just enlarged. And like three, two, two, three years later, I kept asking that. I said, well, that's probably an athletic heart. You know, you work out a lot. You had asthma. It's just a little larger than me anything. So, 100 pounds later, trying to carry my three-year-old up the steps, <clears throat> my breath, my ankles are swollen. I'm a doctor. I know what that is. That's heart failure. Mm -hmm. Dummy, you can't gain all that weight. Mm -hmm. And I say that it might not have been a problem then, but it's a problem now. So I had to change all of that stuff. I lost uh, 100 pounds. Why? I want to see my great grandkids go to school. Not check out like, you know, I got doctors, I know they check out 50, 60. One of my buddies, he ran in the building, 
back pay and all that. But anyway, we'll, we'll digress anymore. <clears throat> you can barely see these blood vessels. What did it say? Four months after taking it? Totally different. I try to get all my patients, take this before surgery. I want you to heal the best you can. Diabetics have horrible wounds healing. That's because of this. So now this is live. I know some people in the back can't see it. But these... Okay, go back. If you look close... Okay, I'm on that side. I'm on this side. They're like pedestrians walking down a bike path. They're slowly making it. That's a problem. Four months later, bam. So like, okay, that's science. What does that mean? Talk to somebody who does it. Instead of being sore from walking 5K, they run and playing full court basketball. At seven. That's me. I know it's different. But you are not going to, you hear me present this information, it's not going to hit you the same until you had that experience. Well, that sounds nice. It's a sales pitch. You know what I'm saying? But the difference between you going to the park and running around with your grandkids, the light will really go on. So, uh, real briefly, organ starvation, what happens when the blood flow is going so slowly, your organs start failing. But your doctor can't detect it. What's the test for your kidneys? You know, they don't even tell you until you got stage three kidney failure. Your blood flow through the kidney is less than 60 before they tell you. I'm mad at that. Yeah. Because I have patients, I'm like, well, we need to drop from 100 to 70. They should have told you, don't take Motrin. People take a whole bottle of Motrin, their kidneys are gone the next day. So if you're starting to have a little kidney failure, don't take Motrin. Do anything else. Well, if you take a bottle of Tylenol, now your liver fails. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. So you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if you knew your kidneys were slowing down functioning and you twist your ankle, you wouldn't be taking all that Motrin. Or uh, what are the warning signs? <clears throat> you, can, you can read this as good as I. All these problems are telling you you got bad blood flow. Type 2 diabetes, skin problems, uh, cold hands and feet, high blood pressure, hearing loss, slow wound healing, erectile dysfunction, nerve problems. All that is saying you got a blood flow problem. Yeah. The doctor don't know, so he can't help you. They give you drugs for you know one, two, and three. It doesn't get to the root problem. This is the spiral side. I like this. <clears throat> Gets worse and worse until death occurs. And this is so important. If anybody goes on their website, look up COVID, you'll find that all the people who took the endocalyx, 100% left. These are ICU patients with COVID. So you saw the thing before, they had low blood flow. If they don't do nothing, they're out of here in a month or so. They took the endocalyx, 100% live. Why? It fixed the blood flow. It fixed the organ failure. So this is something that happens slow, but you can fix it. Uh, damaged capillaries become leaky. They lose their function. Organ starvation begins. Complications start throughout the body. All the organs start slowly decreasing. The doctor has no clue. And it's on tape. This is since 2009. It'll take another 10 years. Because it's not a drug. There's nobody who come to his office and say, hey, here's a new supplement. It's over the counter. Oh, those supplements are, you know, that's not going to work. That's what the doctor's been trying to say. So it's available. <clears throat> Do the testing. Uh, uh, this is some highlights. One of some men have kidney disease. This is showing the kidney damage of type 2 diabetes. Diabetes, you have more uh, glycocalyx damage. The higher it is, the more the inside of the blood vessel is damaged. Diabetes, old and new. 
Old average. Did I go the wrong way? Okay. So basically what this is saying is, you see how young people have a better blood flow with those small blood vessels? And diabetes makes it worse. So you can have diabetes and your blood flow is just as bad almost as uh, aging once you get old. So diabetes ages your blood vessels. This is like too much detail, but it's basically saying <clears throat> your body with the glycocalic, do you see that blue zone here? You see it's missing here? Yeah. That's the difference from your blood. So here you got 80% blood cell velocity. Reserve capacity here is not even needed, but you got both of these hitting on 100. Here it stays 50. So sepsis messes you up. You don't have good blood flow. That's why you're not going to heal. <clears throat> here, the reserve capacity is still not available. Here, healthy low supply demand ratio, much more blood flow. That's what you want. So if I was able to make you stand right here at 19, and I said, come on outside. I want both of you guys to race to the corner and back. You know, good and well, that one's going to be good. The 19 year old. Why? It has the reserve capacity, you don't have any. So that's why it's so important to get it. Uh, this is basically saying the same thing, except saying in the kidneys, when that protective coating is gone, the kidneys don't work. This is actually showing a control because the heronidase showing you have leakage of albumin because that barrier is not there no more. And this should play as a video. <coughs> So it's embedded on my way, whatever, I don't know. So basically this shows the uh, podocytes, the protective cells growing back once you're taking endotapids and then uh, recovery of the kidneys. This is showing that you can diet and see the difference between the controlled diabetes and then the people taking endocalyx and that their function <clears throat> is better. They go from low function to a little better. That's the control. Those are animal studies. So this is on somebody that started it, they stopped it, they restarted it, and then their glomerular filtration where it went from 30 back up to 80. 60 is kidney failure. So this study showed these people got out of kidney failure taking the supplement. Let me just say this. <clears throat> So this is an unofficial rumor, was a fact. The Alice's companies said they want to buy this company because the average person on dialysis, seven to 10 years, then they're out of there. They die. With this, they said, we get another seven to 10 years out of these dialysis patients. Then they figured out, oops, some of the dialysis patients are going to get off dialysis. They said, no, we're not going to buy it. Because you know they do the calculation, and they ain't gonna make no more money buying a, a company for you know several hundred million dollars. I'm glad they didn't, because if they did, they would turn it into a drug. This is for a kidney failure, and you couldn't get it as a supplement over the counter. So I'm happy they didn't get it. <clears throat> Hypertension salt sensitivity study. I'm gonna go through it real quick. It fixed the problem with salt problems with high blood pressure. Because what you need is a glycocalyx. The glycocalyx holds the salt in the inner part of the blood vessel instead of letting it leak into the cells and then end up where they can't expand and you end up with high blood pressure. Uh, this is showing the same thing. Uh, this is on the higher level the uh, diastolic pressure and systolic pressure with the hypertensives. This is showing, this is a mouse study that the effect on the uh, endo, endo, effect of endocalyx brought down the level of the uh, uh, problems they were having with blood flow. So let me go back. Low blood flow, the older you get, this is young folks, they took the endocalyx, they had a rebound, blood flow was better. 
And these are uh, animal strains. Old, old endocalus. Blood pressure. Uh, it reduced about 25%. That's enough for some people to get off drugs. I have plenty of patients, they're on three drugs, now they're on one. I have plenty of patients on one, one or two, they're off. Wound healing. This person healed the wound that or, 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 ordinarily they can't heal. So they start taking it, and this is uh, April, May, uh, August, and October is healed. That's diabetes. That's right. COVID 19 studies. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Bottom line, the people who got on ventilation did worse. Black mm -hmm. like was damaged in all those that did worse. The ones that took the, uh, oh, 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 can you? Uh, yes. Basically, the ones that took the uh, glycocalyx restored their blood flow. And I said it earlier. That the ones who took it, even though they had low, low blood flow when they did the first measurement, within three to four weeks, their blood flow increased and 100% of them in the ICU lived instead of dying. So when I read that study, I'm like, I'm all in. That's when uh, uh, my wife would tell you, uh, I'm up reading these papers. Aren't you coming to bed? I said, I got to read one more. Just one more paper. One second, it's going. Well, it's hard to say like that, but it's not a drug, so it's different components. So what I did, I took four capsules twice a day. The bottles don't say take two capsules twice a day. I thought Fucadan is brown seaweed. I've been using seaweed in my smoothies, you know. I ain't paying $100 for that stuff. I went to Whole Foods, got some seaweed, started trying to make it. I called a company. They said, we take 50 bushels of seaweed and extract the active ingredient, Fucadan, and that's what's in two pills. Okay. Well, you can't buy it. In, uh, you can't get seaweed and do that. Because I tried it. The, uh, if you ever tried it, that seaweed is so nasty. I couldn't put two ounces in my smoothie. You're talking about bushels of it. So I, I gave up because I, you know, I grew up when mom would drive me around on Saturday to five places to save two dollars. So I'm stuck, you know, my mentality is hey, you gotta figure out how to save money. Yeah. Okay, I gave up on that, but I did try. Uh, long haul COVID. It restores the endothelial function after damage. <clears throat> uh, these are the uh, non-ICU and ICU patients that are showing that <clears throat> it restored it. And it, it actually it did the measurements both uh, with microscope and then measured the surface area. And you know, all of the amount of inflammation is reduced anticoagulation is restored. And that's why those people with COVID were getting blood clots all over. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Once you restore it, they don't get it. So I think that's it. Yes. So I want to thank you for your attention. I try to right. go through this as fast as possible to cover it because this is a breakthrough. And because it's a nutritional product, you're not going to hear from your doctor. I guarantee you, my patients go to the doctor, and I'm just tell this one quick story. My buddy, my golf buddy, endocrinologist, expert, right? The teacher had a student who got a 20 on her quiz. She tutored him, and two weeks later, got 35 on the quiz. So I said, that's perfect, because you got a 20 on your vitamin D. I told you to take 5,000. A month later, your level was 35. And this clown told you to stop taking vitamin D. I said, would you tell your student to stop studying? Well, it's in the range. The range is 30 to 100. No, passing, in my book, 
Isn't it at least 65 or 70? Would you accept something less than a 65 or 70 from your kids who had a spelling test? All of you here, your parents wouldn't accept that from you. So I'm saying if you look at vitamin D, your level should be at least 65 to 100. Your doctors don't say it's okay if it's 30, 35, or 40. Black women, don't stop preventing breast cancer until your level is over 80, in my opinion. 83% of breast cancer is preventable if your level is at least 60. So that's vitamin D, and that does have an impact on your vascular flow. This is a whole different ballgame. As you get older and your blood flow is less, you can tell. Anybody here got grandkids, kids? Just check the little kid's skin, see how nice and elastic or subtle. And then see in the teenage years, and then see in the 20s or 30s, and then 50 or 60, and then after 70, you can see the effect of vascular blood flow decreasing immediately because that's what it's due to. And since your skin renews itself, it used to be every 28 days, now it's 60 to 90. When you do certain things to fix the nutrients you're taking in for the skin, it revitalizes itself. And for those who like research, United States Atomic Energy Commission has a paper that says 98% of your molecules are changed every year. That's the problem with the world. We all act like we're one-year-olds or seven-year-olds. Your body is renewing itself if you had the right stuff. If you don't supply the right nutrients, it's like you're renewing your kitchen, the guys are there to put the cabinets up. You didn't buy the cabinets? Okay, they got to put the whole cabinets up. So your body can renew itself. You need the intelligence. You need the right stuff in the blood, and you need blood flow. So this is going to change everything. Every single part of medicine is going to change when they understand you can influence the intelligence in the cells by lifestyle changes to increase epigenetics to turn on the good genes put the right nutrients in the blood. Now you can improve your health and do things to improve your blood flow. So what can you do? To, this is just one thing. If you exercise, you improve your blood flow. If you go on infrared, you know, sauna, that improves your blood flow. The beats and stuff, once you got the glycogen, that improves your blood. Flow. There's a lot of stuff to improve your blood flow, but this is the main one. And so when you put all this together, Dr. Sinclair and our research team, even though it's totally unbelievable, they said <clears throat> the person who's going to live to 200 is already walking around. <clears throat> we can influence genes. We can influence the nutrients you take. We can influence your blood flow. So I wholeheartedly believe what they said, <clears throat> and I bought everything they mentioned. I got a hyperbaric oxygen chamber in my office from 97th and Western. You go in there, and the oxygen level was like 100% higher than what it normally is. That fixes stuff you don't even know is broke. I have a mat that pulses magnetic waves. That opens up channels so the nutrients can get into your blood. I could go through another hour of the new advances because I got them because A, I need it, and B, my patients need it. I'm going to do liposuction on somebody or surgery or tummy tuck and all the stuff I do. Then they're not healing well. They got to go to a wound center. No, I'm going to put them in the oxygen chamber and help them heal much better because they don't have that at the wound center. Isn't Michael Jackson good? Of course. And if I told you all the stars I have, LeBron James has one in, my, in his house. When I got one, I talked to the salesperson. She said, I said, I need to talk to people who, you know, bought this thing. She said, oh, here's 10 people. So I called California. Man, LeBron James has one. She sold it to him. His kids go to the guy that I was talking to, his center. All the football players do it. When I say all, oh, a, a, a huge number. Go to a center, or they got one in their house. What is this? It's a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. And so when you boost your oxygen, you make more ATP. So your body has more energy. It's like having three people to fix your house when you only had one. That whole list of stuff that needs to be fixed can be fixed much better. And they use that for healing in the hospital. Right? Absolutely. They charge 200 an hour when you have a, a blood a wound healing problem. Uh -huh. But 
it works at a low pressure, 1.3 atmospheres, just as well as the two atmosphere one. So you don't have to pay that much money to get it. Because any amount of extra, extra oxygen is helpful. So asthma, <clears throat> autism, Alzheimer's, uh, memory loss. There are people who have been institutionalized and say, oh, they got Alzheimer's. They did a brain scan <clears throat> and said, that's not Alzheimer's. Those brain, brain cells are low functioning. They 20 treatments, they're back to normal. So PET scan, the new scans that says how much energy is active in your brain can tell you it's not Alzheimer's, it's low energy because of low blood flow, and then you can fix it. Anybody here, Dr. Amen, Daniel Amen, he's in Schomburg. He had a relative, you know, big deal. They're on vacation, they go up to a cabin. In the cabin, when they get there, it's deer out there. Oh, this is beautiful. You know, the lake, the cabin, the deer. So they're there a week and a half. <clears throat> By the end of the week and a half, they teenager is schizophrenic. Take it to a psychiatrist. So she'll have to be institutionalized on medicine the rest of her life. And you can look him up online and you can see this was his report. They did the scan. That scan looks like infection. They gave her doxycycline, treated it. It's Lyme disease. In two or three weeks, she's back normal. She would have been in the institution. So the new medicine with new technology, these scans, this new technology, the hyperbeer, there's so many new things that a lot of the diagnosis the doctors used to make, they did the best they can. It's just inaccurate. It's inaccurate. And I am the skeptic. They made me a skeptic in med school because Danford textbook in gynecology said black women don't get endometriosis. So the guy at Georgetown, the professor is writing it. And I said, well, he should have called any black hospital university and talked to the chairman. I said, man, we, we see black women with endometriosis every week. What are you talking about? He thought because the ones he saw that had scar tissue, it must have been PID. You know, his thinking was, that's old scar tissue. Okay. I'm at Howard. Man, we see young girls with endometriosis every week. So, does that reduce uh, pain like uh, muscle pain? Like, I got uh, leg pain. A leg, yeah, does. Your muscle pain heal behind good blood flow. The worse the blood flow, the stuff you need, your body knows how to heal itself, but it's not getting to the area. Ankle twist, and it getting to the ankle. So, it definitely improves blood flow, and that has helped so many different things, um, including, but, pain in including the, the pain in the legs, uh, including uh, faster healing after surgery. Uh, any other questions? Because I, I know I'm over the time. But is, it, is there any uh, research on the supplement? Does it um, has it had any problems with interacting with medications? That no, whatsoever. It's food. Want? It's food. Now, one thing, you ever heard of bitter melon? Yes. Uh -huh. So it had bitter melon in it. So some people had a reaction from that. So they took it out. Like some people who are on that form and not supposed to be That's Yeah, yeah. So this is all food except for the bitter melon they took out. So now that uh, we haven't had that reaction. Any similarities or crossover to leaky gut? Oh, absolutely. So we're going into the next hour lecture. You have three leaks you need to fix. You have leaks in your brain because of these capillaries, you start having brain issues. When you have leaks in your gut and protein gets through the gut, now you got autoimmune disease because those proteins don't belong in your bloodstream. What lines the gut? We didn't even talk about that. The inside of your gut is glycocalyx that lines it. What's in the glycocalyx? All the enzymes you need, all the probiotics, are attached to that glycocalyx. So your health totally depends on having good bacteria in your gut, and that depends on glycocalyx. So when it's gone, you don't have Crohn's disease, irritable bowel, autoimmune disease, you name it. But they're just in the beginning phase. Go to the website, 200 papers, you can type in there, leaky gut, and you'll see somebody already did a paper 
because there's a brain, there's a good brain connection. And believe it or not, the vagus nerve transmits signals from the gut to the brain. And once it gets out of balance, you might have gut and other problems. So would this help with that or it's it definitely separate. helps with it, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then just But you gotta, you know, you gotta fix the food, you gotta, you know, it's it's not one thing. This isn't the one thing that fixes everything. And you said three brain gut, and what's the other one? Yeah. So you have leaky brain, leaky gut, and we we're talking all day today about those capillaries start leaking when it's missing. So those people have swelling in the ankles, swelling in the organs, and then the organs don't work as well. So fixing that. And you mentioned fluoride. Um do most filters um, get fluoride out of drinking water? No, no. Unless you buy one that says it gets it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not even a zero. Like the com the common ones or the expensive ones. You'd have like a Berkshire or there's some that have a special filter just for fluoride. The rest mm -hmm. of them don't do it. Mm -hmm. The rest of them don't do it. Yeah. I think we have a lot of fluoride in it. Yeah. And I mean, there's hundreds of papers. Fluoride decreases the IQ. I was so upset. My uh, daughter had a friend who had a kid. They left their baby water at the house. And so I happened to see it. I'm not going to buy baby water. Why you got fluoride in baby water? Mm -hmm. The hell with the teeth? Yeah. The baby don't have teeth. <laughs> so we've been bamboozled. In Europe, they don't have fluoride in the water. And I would go into why they have it here, but let's just say fluoride is a breakdown product when you make a whole lot of aluminum. So when they had the Manhattan Project and they were building an atomic bomb, they had so much fluoride, they said, how can we get rid of this? Let's distribute it all over the United States. Oh, wait a minute now, every single toothpaste, Right. Not all of them. No, 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 not all of them. Not all of them. Every, every manufacturer, every ad, every right. everything about yeah, it, you got to have fluoride. Fluoride, fluoride, fluoride. Yes. And you're saying. And you believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, you believe it. Well, I, I see it all the time. People go to the dentist and say, I need a fluoride treatment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the countries that don't use fluoride have better teeth. The Aborigines, the people who eat natural food. Yeah. Have much better teeth, no count. And a health food store have toothpaste with no fluoride. Yeah. It's it's not, I'm just saying, it's, it's, not not it's, not it's so much that has been said to sell something yeah. that the truth Jake. is Jake. hidden. So yeah. I knew something was wrong there. I had, I had a battle of lifetime because I didn't want fluoride treatments for my kids. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I got all this trouble. Coming. Eventually, they ended up, my, my dentist, the pediatric dentist ended up firing me. Because I simply said no fluoride treatments. We got it in water, or whatever. We don't need it. Yep. And then they, they, they you, it's a long story. But I knew something was not not right when they were trying to push that. So if it's okay, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Only the smart people came out today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only the smart people came out. Yeah. Because you have just enough. I want to know something. Skepticism. The ability to see beyond just yeah. what they put in your face. You so I know questions. every time I do a talk, I know who comes out and I know who stays home. Wow. Because the real skeptics like, what can he tell me that I don't already know? <laughs> I've been doing research for 50 years. Mm -hmm. I first got into doing research. I'm in college. I became a vegetarian. Within two months, I got sick. What the hell? I'm trying to get healthier. They poured all the water off the vegetables in the vegetarian cafeteria upstairs, them trays are going every 15 minutes. They don't have time to pour the water off. Downstairs, that same tray stayed for two hours. So, you know, it's all murky and stuff. I was mineral and vitamin deficient because they poured the water off. So, from that point on, I'm like, it's important to know how your food is prepared. Yeah. It's important to know that you could have good nutrients and mess it up because of how you prepare it. So when I went to med school, that wasn't biochemistry. You know, everybody's like, I can't wait to get off of biochemistry, take that pen out. Never have to think about that crap again. <laughs> biochemistry is how your body takes food and makes it into your structure and gives you energy. That's not biochemistry. That's how you live. So I was on a whole different number. And because of that, every study was how nutrition works. The other guys were like, Let's just get this final over. Uh, what about prior to what they're doing now where you go all the athletes do? Yeah, so what that does is immediately reduce the inflammatory load. Okay. But like I said, the real 
thing is the glycocalyx has the anti-inflammatories in every single capillary. But they're working out and stuff, so they got joints and stuff that they purposely damage. When you lift weights, you're purposely damaging your muscles because you got to damage the muscles for it to get big. Right. So excess, everybody's heard of this. When you injure something the first 24 hours, ice it. Yeah. Why? Wow, reduce the amount of damage. So that's why they're doing cryotherapy, therapy, and it definitely works. It definitely works. So I used to think them idiots who would, in the middle of winter go jump to Lake Michigan. Uh, yeah. The polar bear. The polar, the polar plant. See, don't think you ever know everything. So there might be something to it. So we got to do what? Research. Yeah. Investigate. So any other questions we're going to end? I don't know. Because we're over time. It's okay. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming in and thank you, Doctor, for educating all of us. I can just get a moment. I need this paper to fund it back, even if you didn't fill it out. And if anybody didn't sign in, please sign in. And um, if you would like to get updates about future events or anything, then there is an email option on the bottom of the paper that you can use for them. We can send you a patient over for two years. I had a patient who, uh, you know, older, yeah, yeah. 74, had heart attack, had a bypass. They said, you got two more vessels, but you don't have a bypass in three months. You're really well enough now. Mm -hmm. She took this stuff, and in three months, all her vessels were totally open. No more bypass. Uh, honey, do you have a business card? Yes. Okay, okay. He has it. So what about vitamin D? Just taking vitamin D supplement. That definitely helps because your immune system has to be 